Daddy is always playing on his laptop. So let's see if it's dirty. Ah. Let's pick up some bad ones. What is this? That's your laptop. My, my, my laptop? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you better wash your hands after you use your laptop. Oh or my. you need to clean your laptop too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know I've been touching it. Now I know. I should clean my laptop every day too. Welcome to Ryan's world. First up, we're gonna dip the swab in water. First swab, I'm gonna test out my sister's shoe. Let's go! Whoa! Ugh, so dirty! Okay, let's go now. These are at our plates, and I'm gonna transfer the bacteria and see how it grows. Now I'm gonna label it. Next, I love playing with slime, so we're gonna see if my slime has bacteria in it. Let's go! Whoa. This is the slime I've been playing with. So technically, it's probably a little bit of my hands in the slime. Let's do this! <laughs> now let's put it on the Android plate. You know how your parents always tell you to brush your teeth? Well, we're gonna see if mommy's teeth. It's dirty or not. <laughs> My daddy's always playing on his laptop, so let's see if it's dirty. Test out if a soccer ball has bacteria. Whoa! So this is how I do it. Now let's transfer it to the agar plate. Next, we're gonna test out the refrigerator because everybody touches this to get food. Bobbing the handle. Now let's transfer it to the agar plate. Now I'm going to transfer the plates into the box. After I close it, now we're going to do do not touch. Now we're going to keep this in a safe place and we're going to check up on it in three days. Yay! It's been five days, now let's see if there's bacteria. There's no way, I've been cleaning the house every day, so there's no bacteria whatsoever. Let's check it out. Okay, whoa! Ah! So this is probably the best one, slime. It's barely dirty, it barely has bacteria. Slime, yeah, that's clean, uh -huh. The fridge is probably the second best because there's one here, one here. One here, one here, one here, one yeah. here, one here. So the colony of the bacteria, there are many, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. See? You're welcome. Bye. I think this is the best one. Mommy's teeth. What? Mommy's teeth? Whoa, that's the cleanest one. Even cleaner than slime. I know. Whoa, what a good example, Mommy. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Let's pick up some bad ones. What is this? That's your laptop. My, my, my laptop? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. So you better wash your hands after you use your laptop, or oh you need to clean your laptop too. Look at that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't know I've been touching it. Now I know. I should clean my laptop every day too. Soccer thingy. Soccer thingy? What's soccer what's? ball. A soccer ball. <laughs> a soccer ball's good. Are you serious? Soccer ball Is compared to my laptop, it's much cleaner. I'm, I'm embarrassed. And a mm. paint shoe. Whoa. I'm sorry, Emma. Wait, your laptop is dirtier than Emma and Kate's shoe. No. Wait, the shoe's been going outside, inside, outside, inside. My laptop's still dirty? Uh. 
today we learned something important, guys. Always wash your hands and clean a lot of stuff that you use, like a laptop. Yeah, this is my lesson today. You guys should also do an experiment like this to see which parts of your house are dirty. Bye! Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hey guys, today we're doing the baking soda in vinegar science experiment. But first, pretend this is a volcano. First, you're gonna need some baking soda. So we have to put it into the funnel inside your water bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, next you're gonna put your food coloring into your vinegar, and I choose red. A little bit more. Okay, guys, get ready for an explosion! Remember, ask your parents for help. That was really fun, but I wish it was a volcano. Huh? Pep? Hi, Pep! Gosh! Ryan, did you know that you can make a volcano out of paper? What? You can? Of course you can! <laughs> I'll go make one for you! Okay! I'm gonna build a Lego robot. It's gonna be my best friend. All I need is the last piece for the head and, oh, it's so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-huh, Peck, what are you doing here? We got a new science experiment for Ryan. It's gonna be a giant volcano. A giant volcano? Well, uh, what do we need for that? First thing we will need is a giant box. A giant box. There's definitely one around here. Let's see. <gasps> oh, over there by Combo. Hey, Combo, pass the big box. Huh? Oh, this box? You got it, Bree. Hiya! I'm a little teacup short. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! This place doesn't seem too familiar. Huh? What's that? Looks like there's a volcano nearby. Let's go investigate. Whoa! This box is huge, and it is going to be the perfect base for our volcano, don't you think, Peck? Peck? Where did Peck go? Oh, well. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is cut this box down. So I finished marking my line. Where we need to cut, it's about four inches high, which I think is gonna be a good height to keep all the lava inside. So now all we need to do is cut. And once we cut the box, it should look like... And there it is! Oh, that is the perfect size for our base. Look how big it is. Now to make sure that our base is good and strong, we're gonna use duct tape. Well, the box looks great, but how do I build a volcano? Incoming! Oh, Peck, there you are. Uh, I just got back from gathering research data. First, we're gonna need these. A bottle and a cup? I think we can use this for the center of our volcano. Precisely. <laughs> so this bottle is gonna be perfect to put all of our ingredients in for the lava, but I think it's a little too short. That's why we have this cup. I think that might be a little too tall. We can work on this. Oh, that is the perfect height. Uh, maybe we should glue it in place. Okay, just a little bit more glue. And I think that should do it. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, our bottle's not going anywhere, but we don't need this cap. It doesn't really look like a volcano. We need something. I don't know what. We have to build the body. I know what'll work. Okay. Yeah. 
trash? Paper! <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. So we're making the shape of our volcano. It's kind of a mess right now, so we're gonna use tape to hold all of this together. Now to form the body of the volcano with some tape. More paper. Oh, wow, Peck, you found a lot of paper. This is gonna be perfect. So the first thing that we need to do to start paper macheing this giant volcano is we need to take all of this paper and tear it into pieces that we can actually use. So, something about like that. But we're gonna need a lot. This guy is very big, so. Yeah, this ought to do the trick. Rip the paper. Whoa, Peck, great job. This is a lot of paper. What else do we need? Uh, well, to make paper mache, we need paper, which we already have, and then we need a bowl, some water, and the most important part, glue. So this glue is way too thick. So the first thing we're gonna do is add glue, then we're gonna add water and stir it all together to try to thin it out so we can put it on our paper. Now all we do is stir. Or agitate. Agitate, agitate. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're all ready for the fun part. It's gonna be a little messy, so if you're wearing sleeves, roll them up. First, you dunk it in the glue, and then you just clean off all the extra, make sure the paper is good and kind of soft, and then you just whoosh, slap it on the volcano. Slimy. Now the hardest part, we have to wait for this to dry. The volcano will take a while to dry. Let's go wash our hands. Ugh, yeah, I'm very sticky, so we'll meet back here later? Yup, I'm gonna go gather more research. Bye! <gasps> Oosh. One day later. Whoa! It looks so good and it's really dry, let's see. It's definitely hard and sturdy, ready for paint, but where is Peck? Peck? Hi, Peck. Peck? Oh yeah! I'm at a real volcano and um, I think we need to use a gray paint. Well, we can definitely make gray, Peck, but just make sure you stay safe, okay? Be careful. Now gray, we don't actually have, but we can make it with black and white. All right, Peck, uh, how do these grays look? Go for it, me. All right, well, it's a big volcano. We're gonna use a big brush. And let's get started. We just finished all of this painting. This volcano is huge, it took forever. Peck, how does it look? It kind of looks just like a mountain. It could use some lava. Some lava? Oh yeah, <laughs> some lava. I'm gonna head back now. It's getting a little hot over here. <laughs> okay, well we'll see you in a bit, Peck. Now I have a great idea for the lava. What better than hot glue? I mean, it kind of looks like lava, right? Maybe? All right, let's see. So we're gonna try to build it up and see if we can get it to look like some big, giant lava trails. Whoa, that looks so cool! Ah. All right, now we're gonna use some orange and some yellow to give this lava some color. 
Oh, just a little bit more lava paint, and oh, I think I hear Peck. Woohoohoo! Made it just in time. Oh, hi, Peck. So we just finished our volcano, and what do you think about it? I think our volcano is complete. Looks like the real deal, huh? Looks like the one I saw earlier. Let's teleport it to Ryan. Yay! The last thing we have to do is to get this onto our teleportator potato. So let's just lift this guy up. I'm just kidding. It's paper mache. It's really lightweight. And off to Ryan we go. Goodbye, volcano. Have fun, Ryan. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much, Pet, for this paper volcano. It's so cool. Super cool. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it outside, and then I'm going to erupt it. Let's go. First thing, baking soda. Cool. Okay guys, so let's pour in the vinegar. with cornstarch and water. Whoa. First, ask a grown-up for help. Which is me. All right, so first we need one and a half cup of cornstarch. Okay, Ryan, open it up. Start pouring in here. Good, more, more, more. Do you see the line where it says one and a half? Oh, ho, 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 whoa, ho. <laughs> Ryan, too much. This is why you need help from grown-ups. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay to be messy a little bit. You tell me when, okay, right? It's stop. Stop? Okay. So just top, 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 top. Oh, that's more than half. Now, pour this in here. Ooh. Oh! It's already getting messy. For me, I'm gonna do the same thing. Wow. It's kind of looks like flour. Yeah, and you know never nice. to eat anything when you do an experiment. Next, measure out one cup of water. I'm gonna use green and Daddy's gonna use blue. All right, that's my favorite color. Okay, so probably three drops is enough, Ryan. Yeah. If you do too much, it's gonna be too dark. So one, two, no, I think three. that's good. All right. One. Oh. That's good. That's good. Just stir it. Oh, well, these are big. Whoa, look at that. Mine's definitely blue color. Whoa. How's yours going? Oh, Mine's nice. Green. Next, put the water into your cornstarch. Whoa. Whoa. Looking cool. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the color came out nice. It's like a volcano. Yeah. I like it. All right, now we gotta mix it up. Whoa. Whoa. It's gooey. It's gooey. I love the color of mine. Like, come on, really cool. What? Yours looks like soup. Looks like slime. You always look like a slime color. Yeah. Oh, oh splash on me! <laughs> if you guys like messes, you should definitely make ooh black. <laughs> <laughs> but don't make a mess intentionally. Okay? <laughs> don't do that on purpose. It's all dissolved. I don't feel anything anymore. It's all liquid. I feel so much. This is why you need the help from a grown-ups. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Big chunk. <laughs> if it's too liquidy, you can add more cornstarch. Mm -hmm. I think I, mine needs a little bit more. Mine's good. Yours good? Okay. Yeah. I'll just add a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, we exchange. Here, you, you help me and I help you. Here you go. Mm. Oh yeah, Ryan needs a little bit more too. Look, it's very liquid. You know it's ready when it feels hard, like this. Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely ready. Oh. And mine too, look at this. It looks liquid, right? And then... Slap! See? You can slap it. Alright, Ryan, why don't you try and touch it and see what it feels like. 
<laughs> See, if I try to stop it, I go, uh, punch it. See? My hand doesn't go in. Look. Ah! Can't punch through! Let me try, let me try. See? What? <laughs> so it's like slime, like that. It's kind of like it's slime. Like concrete. It's like slime that's not ready yet. Oh no! Oh, I dropped mines on my mine. <laughs> no. So guys, I have a question for you. What? Uh, is this ooh black? Is it a solid or is it a liquid? It's both. Why do you think it's both? Because when you stay still in it, it like sinks you down, and whenever, whenever you hit it, it's a solid. So it's like invincible. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's invincible, but yeah, I feel like it has both properties. properties. Okay, this is like look, look, it feels like solid, right? But then, see, it moves like liquid. Yeah, so I want you to pick up some and put it and squeeze it between your hands. Ah! Uh, it feel hard or soft? It's hard. Look, yeah, look. when you put it in your hand, it feels hard like a solid. I'm making a ball, right? Yeah. Like, I'm making a ball. So let go, let go. Solid. Oh! <laughs> what happens when you let go? It's liquid! Yeah. I'm so confused. Which one is it? <laughs> Alright, you try, right? It's ball, obviously. Ah, seven years old is teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> you try. You pick up a whole bunch. And then just squeeze it, but don't leave any space. Does it feel like a solid or a liquid? Solid. Yeah, but if you let go, <laughs> what happens? It becomes a liquid. Yeah, so it's not your typical solid liquid, right? So if yeah. I want to keep it solid, I keep on how to do this forever. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's melting. I'm getting mad. <laughs> Yeah, so this is really cool. This is actually called a non-Newtonium liquid. Huh? Non-Newtonium liquid. That's what, what it's is called. Newtonium? Yeah. Newtonium after uh, so Isaac Newton. Okay. It's not a typical definition of a solid, liquid, and gas. It's a solid or liquid, and it changes its property based on pressure. So if you apply pressure, it behaves differently. Mommy, right. you try to punch it. Okay. Mommy's gonna try to punch. Let's see. One, two, three. Whoa! Like That's so fun. <laughs> Whoa, look at Ryan. If you let go, it just dropped down. Oh, Looks like slime, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm Whoa. melting! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like ice cream melting. Yeah. <laughs> what flavor would that be? Matcha flavor? Maybe a rocky road? You can make your oobleck even more exciting with adding glass. Wow, which one, which one? There are two kinds. I wanna do the bigger one. Okay, I get the purple one. Glass. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's enough, right? Okay. Shine. Oh, how am I gonna mix the, oh, oh. glitter. Oh, it's on your hand now. Oh, this is the only way I can mix it. So Ryan right? added way too much glitter. All right, I'll do right. Well, I need a lot more. <laughs> I need a lot of glitter. Wow, That's look at right. that. I like it. <laughs> the only thing is hard to mix. <gasps> but if you if you leave it like this, it's actually hard wow. to get out. Oh. So cool. Okay, guys, so that's how you make oobleck. And when you're done playing, just do not throw it into the sink. You know why? Why? It could clog up your sink. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Don't want that. So if you're done playing, you just throw it in the trash, or you can just put it in a Ziploc bag like this. You can play again later. For now, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Rise up.